Spin the globe wherever it stops. I'm going. Hi, we're hotels and highways, and we create music. Gonna blow this train whistle till I find out who I am. Guys, because uh, we've all been here before, and I think this is the best like viewing experience we've had. It's, it's, most, it's my most mature South by Southwest <laughs> <laughs> by far. Since we were just playing together for the enjoyment of playing together, we wanted to. We made it a goal to be ourselves and play within ourselves. So the sound of the album is basically, you know, kind of a combination of things that we've done in the past and uh, trying to just be ourselves. There was no pressure to make this record in a short amount of time because we barely knew we were making a record when we made it. We had just come together to write and uh, to create music and uh, see what happened and we ended up making a record. So we, we went with the flow and we went did it. Yeah, we went in just to write music. We just went to a cabin, we needed to get away, we wanted to write together. and. Uh, it wasn't really evident we were making an album until like a couple days into the experience and by that time we were having so much fun making it that there was no pressure at all, it was just fun. The sounds of the cabin made it onto the sound of the record by far. It was the end of the summer, we were there, um, the crickets, the cicadas, the wind. It's kind of like if you made a record in this room right now, the sounds of the room. <laughs> we would be, yeah, we would just go with it, it'd be a part, be a part of our song. Yeah. We wrote the first like Hotels and Highways songs, Patrick and I, when we were traveling together and uh, touring like as separate singer-songwriters, and uh, we were on a lot of highways and staying in a lot of hotels. It wasn't like rocket science where the name came from, but that's been a part of all of our experiences, just in individual touring. And also, I mean, I've moved around a lot, and then deeper on the record, it's a lot about the passage of time through life and like the travel through life. Whenever you write about being on the road. There is like the flip side of that coin where you have to write about your home and what and what home like home to us means a lot more than somebody that's lived in the same house their entire not not, not more in a it's just you know, different yeah, qualitative it's different. sense. It's more of like well we have a, a reflection on what that means to us. Because a lot of times it's not the same place over and over again. It's, yeah. it's basically the person or family yeah. or it's just a feeling. Yeah, it's a lot easier to write those emails to people and tell them about your band rather than tell them about yourself somehow. When you're writing by yourself, you you can spend hours in a vacuum not knowing if anything's any good. You'll you'll be like, well, these are four chords that people have used since the beginning of songwriting. I must go beyond this. Yeah. When we're together, it's like, no, those four chords are totally fine. Just go with it. Don't push. Don't you, push. Yeah. Too you're also not gonna be the one that says I sound awesome singing over these four chords. Whereas in this band, like, if certain people in the band start singing either one of you really, and we're playing something that's really straightforward, it's like that sounds amazing to me. You know what I mean? As opposed to if I'm singing, like, this sounds amazing to me. We're getting the experience for the first time in our lives to be a, a member of a band, being a guitar player, being a drummer, being yeah. a piano player, that we haven't had in the past because we've had to like carry the weight of the show. And it's really fun to just play guitar. Yeah, it's really, really fun to just play the drums. So yeah, we, we get that. That's an added bonus. And I do have a drum solo in every song, so it's kind of it's in the contract.